Did you know a Nobel Prize winner created one of history's most horrific weapons while trying to save lives? Fritz Haber stood in his laboratory in 1915, convinced he had found a humane solution to end the brutal trench warfare. Poison gas would force soldiers to surrender quickly, he believed, preventing the endless slaughter. On April 22, 1915, Haber personally supervised the first chlorine gas attack at Ypres. He watched through binoculars as green-yellow clouds rolled across no man's land toward Allied trenches. What happened next horrified even him. Soldiers clawed at their throats as chlorine burned their lungs from the inside out. 5,000 men died in minutes, gasping and choking as the toxic cloud consumed them. His wife Clara shot herself in protest that very night, unable to live with what her husband had unleashed. The tragic irony, Haber's chemical research later contributed to Zyklon B. The same knowledge meant to end war quickly became the tool used against his own Jewish people in the Holocaust. Good intentions can pave the darkest roads imaginable. 